y'all and welcome back to my channel i know it's been way too way too long but i'm back so today i have to work at the club tonight um but i've got a bunch of other things to do throughout the day it's only like alexa what time is it It's only 11 o'clock, so um, it's still super early. I'm about to go to Starbucks and get coffee, and then I have to go to the bank, then I have to go to the store, and then probably the beauty supply store, and I got a bunch of stuff to do today, so I figured I'd just bring you guys along, and then I'm working tonight, so I'll do like a little mini work vlog um, for you guys. I have had a lot of big things go on recently. I bought a car like two days ago, so um, you guys are going to see so you guys are about to see the inside of my car and kind of update you guys on my life like throughout the day so if you guys want to come with me and run errands and then go to work later then keep watching okay so i'm in target because i had a car mount but it's not sticky anymore so i came in here to get one for y'all um but yeah so here i am okay so I am leaving Target because I had this um, car mount that was in my old car um, and I tried to put it up but it's not sticky anymore so I just picked up this one from Target um, and it works with my pop socket which is cool so hopefully it's like stable enough. I know it's kind of shaky and I'm sorry. Um, I don't know how it's going to be when I'm driving but we're about to find out. So, just so you guys know, I literally did not go to Starbucks, which was, like, the first thing I was going to do. But I was like, no, I want to get this mount so, like, I can get the full vlog experience. Um, so, I got my mount first. Now, I'm about to go to Target. Target. I'm about to go. I'm leaving Target. Going to Starbucks. And it's funny because the Target that I just went to has a Starbucks in it. But, again, I'm doing this for y'all um so welcome 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 to my new car um so her name is Catherine, and i named her Catherine because i am a huge vampire diaries fan and my car is an elantra i was thinking like elena the elantra right but then i was like i don't know my car gives me more like Catherine vibes so i was like Catherine. her name is Catherine. um so this is my car you guys can't really see much of it but um yeah i got a little cute steering wheel cover and um i have like a little car on amazon of all the stuff that i want to get i want like a little trash can shout out to my best friend because she put me on um it's like a little trash can that you put on the back of your seat and it is lit so um that and then like a couple like safety things and then like a couple cute keychains um wow there's not a line today all right y'all so i couldn't get the order on camera because i had to read what she had sent me and order at the same time so i need my phone um i get a venti iced chai latte with pumpkin cold foam on top and two espresso shots it's really good i found it on tiktok somebody put me on um and you really can't taste the espresso when you add it to the chai so i really like that like it doesn't make it like i don't know too much and the pumpkin kind of offsets it as well so that's what i get um i should have asked for a large water but i really wasn't thinking kendra just asked me to pull up at her crib so i'm gonna do that but also chick-fil-a is like right here next to starbucks so i'm gonna get chick-fil-a too i'm annoying and i need to stop but whatever um so i gotta go home and get my bag packed and then i gotta go by the gas station and then um i'll be on my way i'll be on my way to kendra's house and then from there we're gonna go to work so should be a pretty decent day um i gotta go to the gas station and get a couple red bulls because i was up early and i'm gonna be working late um 
I gotta bring my makeup because I didn't do any of my face makeup. So let me tell you guys about my whole car buying process because it was so stressful and I've been so stressed out about not having a car. I literally have not had a car for an entire year. I've been trying to get a car. I was really gonna get a car right before like the corona and everything. Um, but literally like two weeks before I was gonna get my car, everything shut down. I was working at the club at the time and literally when corona happened and everything shut down and I didn't have work, um, I didn't have an income, I didn't get unemployment. So I was shit out of luck. All the money that I had saved for my car had to go to like my house, um, making sure I paid all my bills and took care of my animals and all of that. So obviously I didn't start back at work until April, what, March, April, May. Hold on y'all, I'm about to get to the window. Good, how are you? Yes. So I just wanna show you this drink because look how spicy, uh, look how spicy. Good. She's so cute. This is like fall in a cup. Stop. Stop. My order got changed because they don't have chai and they never have chai at this freaking Starbucks. But whatever. Um, so anyways, I got... Wow, it actually doesn't even have the right thing on here. This is the old ticket. Um, but he said it is a iced coffee with white mocha and the pumpkin cream cold foam on top with caramel drizzle so this is not what i ordered um and also the two espresso shots so we're about to like taste this together because i literally never had this before Oh, that might be my new shit. Wow. Uh, he really put me on. This is good. Uh, okay, so let me tell you guys again so you guys can try it. And if you do, let me know in the comments below because this shit smacks. Um, it is a venti iced coffee with white mocha, pumpkin cream cold foam on top, and caramel drizzle with two espresso shots. I think ventis come with two espresso shots already maybe three so this might have four or five so i'm gonna be like a crackhead later thank you to my man at starbucks just now um i actually want to take a really cute picture of this and post it on my instagram so give me one second all right y'all so um sorry for that little intermission i just had to take a really cute freaking picture on instagram of that coffee because it's so cute it is so cute um but let me go back to my whole car buying process because i know that's like where this ended off i cannot get over this freaking coffee miss corona decided to come through and mess up my whole plans so i had to put off getting my car back in march and then i started working again in june so june july august i was really like taking time to like recover from the fucking coronavirus um so that time I was honestly like I didn't have time to save um when that was June July August I had a really good month in August and or the end of July was really good for me and I had saved up enough money and I was like ready to go to the dealership and I went and got approved for a car and everything and the only issue was I needed three months of bank statements for my income which my job hadn't been open for three months so I didn't have three months of income, um, which was super annoying. So I had to wait a couple more months to have like a solid three months of income. So a couple months, a couple months later is that's August, September, October. Um, here we are in October. I started working a new job last month. Um, hold on, I'm about to get my order taken. They might not want to be on camera, so. Good, how are you? Yeah, what can I get for you? Um, so yeah, so fast forward a couple months later, I had steady months of income. I was working at Twin Peaks and I also started working at a club. 
Um, so with both of those combined, I was able to save enough money and um, was fortunate enough to buy a new car um, on Saturday. Today is Monday, so I've had her for two days and um, I love her, absolutely love her. But I really just needed like a reliable everyday driver because I wasn't driving anything. Um, and with me working at this club and I was going back and forth between Twin Peaks at the time, um, I just needed to get a car. I needed a car ASAP and I made it happen. So that's the little story behind getting my car. Um, getting a car is really stressful and it's not something that you can just like snap your fingers and do. Um, so I really applaud the people that have done this before. This is my first time ever buying a car and, um, God damn, it was stressful as fuck, but I'm glad that I stuck it out and I'm glad that I finally did it. And yeah, so that's the story behind me getting my car. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram or friends on Snapchat, then you know that I no longer work at Twin Peaks. Um, that's something recent as well. Which is kind of a funny story, kind of not funny, because it's like bullshit as well. Um, but I'm gonna let some time go by before I speak on it, just out of respect. I'm not gonna speak on the situation any more than that. I'm gonna leave it at that, and maybe in a few months or a year or when I just have nothing else to fucking talk about, I'll tell you guys the story about this whole situation, but... Um, so I'm not working at Twin Peaks, but it's cool. It's cool. Honestly, I was working to find my way out of there. Um, I've been working at Twin Peaks for almost four years now, and I just feel like I'm growing out of it. It was not the type of environment that I wanted to be in anymore. So, um, cool. Yeah. So I'm just working at the club right now, but I do want to find, hold on. Hi. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Anyways, y'all, so I'm being fat. I'm sorry. So, yeah, as of right now, I'm just working at the club, which I'm fine with. Um, but just due to the corona and not really knowing what's ever going to go on with that. I do want to find another like bartending job that I would do on the weekend, which is like what I was doing at Twin Peaks. I was only working there two days a week. Um, so I do want to find like a little side job um, to have on the back burner. And then I'm still doing my OnlyFans and then I have the club. So your girl is not really tripping about Twin Peaks. I'm just working on moving to bigger and better things on um, 2019 and 2020 really fucking sucked for me um it's my birthday month i turned 22 on the 27th i don't really have crazy birthday plans i want to go to a really nice dinner um, with my friends, with all my girlfriends, and dress up really cute, and just eat some nice ass, expensive ass food, and drink good wine. So that's my plan for like my actual birthday. And then um, I've got a really close friend of mine who's taking me to a restaurant the weekend before my birthday, and then um, the weekend of Halloween or I guess the week of Halloween or the week after Halloween because Halloween's on a Saturday this year which Halloween is on a full moon and it's daylight savings so I feel like people are about to be fucking crazy Halloween's on a Saturday and I will be going to Atlanta the November 2nd and 3rd um, for like the ending of my birthday so we are meeting in Atlanta and then we're gonna turn up for the weekend and all that good stuff but that is my plan for my birthday I really don't like I don't have plans to get super lit I don't even have plans for Halloween I really plan on working at the club on Halloween um, so that's just me and what I've got going on right now y'all I don't really know I don't um, the stuff that I need to get from the store, I literally have a whole list, and it's 1 o'clock, so I need to head to Kendra's house right now. 
Um, so I gotta go home and like pack my bag and then I'm gonna go to her house. I literally have to run home so fast and pack my bag and um, pack my makeup and get all my stuff for my hair and then turn around and hop in the car and go to Kendra's house. So I am going to drive home real fast and I will be back when I am on my way to Kendra's house. So, I'm just gonna throw my face on real fast. Okay, so I just finished my makeup. Um, Kendra's finishing getting ready right now, so. I just want to show y'all my face in this nice lighting because it kind of goes crazy. Um, but yeah, it's kind of gross outside if you guys like can see. It's kind of gross out here, but <sighs> it's a money day. It's a Monday. Money Mondays. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to go to work today. The coffee is hitting. The endorphins are endorphing. And uh, yeah, so... I'll probably check back in with you guys when I'm like on my way to work. Um, but yeah. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Um, I'm in the car with Fran. See? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. This fucking thing. Hold on. This is for pop sockets. I was like, okay, try it. Yeah. I didn't know they made them, but um, it's a little shaky, which is annoying. So you have a pop socket on the back of it? Right. Right. It was thirty dollars, and all the other ones were like fucking sixty, like the big, like oh, yeah. yeah. I was like, no, fuck that. Um, but I'm like ten minutes from the club right now. Um, it's like drizzling outside. It's kind of eh. like the sun's out, but it's gross, um, and it's really humid. But we're gonna get there at five, so I'm like five minutes away. Um, but yeah, that's it, really. I need a new wig, clearly. Um, I just got here, I just got dressed, and clocked in. Let's see if I can show you guys my outfit. It's nothing crazy. Um, it is currently like 5.15, 5.20, so it's still early. There's not a lot going on down the stairs, um, but we clocked in and we're ready to go. So, hopefully it's a money night. But, um, who knows? It's a Monday, so it could be a hit, could be a miss. Um, but we're gonna stick it out. So, let's see. I'm about to check out some work right now. Friend. Come to my best friend. Come to my best friend. <laughs> oh, <I don't> <laughs> Alright, y'all. What is up? It's the next morning. Um, I look like who the fuck did it and why, but it's fine. It's fine. It is currently 1.07 and I literally got out of bed like 45 minutes ago and got into the shower and just got dressed real quick because I need to go to the store and like pick up some stuff for work. Um, I need new wipes. Um, just, I wanna get some more like perfumes. Um, I kind of need a new money bag and I might go to the lingerie store and get new shoes, but I don't know yet. Um, it depends on what my time is looking like. So last night was Monday, today's Tuesday. Um, work was pretty decent, I guess. It wasn't anything crazy for a Monday. I'm just gonna show y'all how much money I made last night. Um, I exchanged all my ones at the end of the night, so I don't usually walk home with a bunch of ones. Um, but 
this is what I made last night. It's nothing crazy. Um, I feel weird doing this. What, what, whatever. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 10. So $212 is what I made yesterday, um, last night, which like I said, it's really not bad. Um, it was a Monday, so I'm grateful for anything that I walk out with. Um, and that's really how it is any night. It's really hit or miss at the club and you never know. So, um, like I said, I'm grateful that I walked out with anything last night. Um, and yeah, so if you guys enjoy my little vlog today then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below because i'll definitely do more for you guys if you guys like this video make sure to give it a huge thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on and i'll see y'all my next video bye